Hey everyone, this is Don Johnson with Hot Words Alls Copywriting, and in this video we'll be covering the power of the money back guarantee. And it, this is something that very few um, business people that I've associated with and um, in general want to tackle, um, the money back aspect of their guarantees or um, kind of business money lives in general because in some cases it's not arrogance, it's not uh, foolishness, it's just kind of the discomfort of the awkwardness of having to deal with the fact that your product didn't do so well with certain customers. And we generally have to get comfortable with um, these sort of weird angles in our businesses as a whole because in reality, um, if our sales pages don't convey the full picture of our products, services, whatever, and our certain customers who don't have proper expectations um, buy from us and they realize that, okay, the product wasn't exactly what they thought or it doesn't fit their, their expectations, needs, desires, whatever, that puts them in some cases closer to a refund a um, you know whatever you know asking for support that doesn't work out and they have to do sort of a chargeback whatever it is that causes them to go for um, uh, you know getting their money back and in some cases there's no stated money back guarantee with some sales letters some, some you know sales pitches the sales page where you have your you know um, the the headline for your product and the buy button at the bottom and there's no sometimes there's no guarantee or whatever or it's stated too small at the bottom like it's a seven day wait or whatever and um, we just have to be open minded with this because <clears throat> as long as you have a um, uh, solid product and know that it has the quality to satisfy your customers needs and wants um, there should be no problem and some marketers go from the angle of knowing that at least like 5% or whatever, 10% might not fully like your product, and that might not be relevant if you have enough communication before and after the sale, and that, um, this, this is why I like to communicate with my um, clients and our pers um, prospective leads, uh, whoever, um, well before they buy, um, and educate them and let them know that tends to help out uh, with long-term expectations, uh, product quality, and service quality overall. But that's kind of beside the point. We just have to get comfortable in general with the fact that money back guarantees do get used a lot. People do go for refunds. But um, this gets incredibly simple when you realize that we have to just get comfortable with um, making our foundation for the, our businesses as strong as possible starting out. And... Um, the sales letter has to just be strong enough to get our clients um, at, like kind of ready for the sale. And as long as they're sold, as long as they're educated, as long as that happens, th there shouldn't be uh, many refunds, if any. I've had refunds uh, early on in my career, um, mostly um, for some of my products, and it's about expectations. And when I asked the, you know, my customers and clients that were confused or frustrated or whatever what the problems were, um, it, was, it was about lack of... Um, making it clear what the product was going to do for them and that was my fault really because I was on the copywriter and I made the sales copy and then I years ago and even for some other projects it was just sort of uh, a mistake on my part but we have to understand that the idea of a refund <clears throat> or the money back guarantee in general is common because even places like whatever like Walmart and um uh it, it, it's just a common thing to see the um the customer service sort of part of, let's say, even Kmart or wherever, wherever else. I use Walmart because everybody knows Walmart. The customer service angle uh, or the part of the store is full of people who want to uh, return something because their the marketing doesn't did not match their expectations, and they needed to um, return the product for whatever you know store credit or money back, whatever. And um, but we can sidestep this process a lot. Um, when our prod our customers know our products well enough over time, especially and. <laughs> We don't have to um, be kind of uh, negative about getting that email for the uh, for the refund or a sales call or whatever message, and even in that case, it's not that much of an issue overall. So we need to ensure, in general, that our sales message um, is strong and clear and blunt enough and clear enough and everything else um, to get that idea and showcase our product and you know quality in a very uh, strong and blunt way so that um, we steer clear of all refunds or anything else and that's basically it for the you know talking about the money back guarantee where you sidestep it through the product quality and kind of presenting it in a very powerful and clear way um, and have a good relationship with your um, customers hopefully before and after the sale but this has been Don Johnson with Hot Results Corporating covering the power of the money back guarantee and it's really not that big of a deal once um, you get over those sort of hurdles as we just discussed here but if you'd like to learn more Get in touch, please check out the links below. Thank you.